Hello, today you're going to learn how to do something called embossing. Inside your art kit, you're going to find this very thin sheet of metal. Be careful, the corners are sharp. You're also going to find a piece of foam. This has to be underneath your project the entire time because the art of embossing is pushing into metal so that it raises up. It's the opposite of engraving. Here, I have an engraving of my name. And you can, <laughs> hello, <laughs> but you can see um, the letters are going into the metal. In this project, you're going to cause the metal to be pushed up, and you're going to be creating a dragon's eye, something we actually have done before. And uh, we're going to have to flip the metal over back and forth to cause the surface to raise up in the air, but it's going to create some really cool texture. So you're going to need that sheet of metal, that piece of foam, and a dull pencil, okay? You want something with a dull tip. A sharp tip is going to go right through the metal, so we don't want that. So if you have a, a sharp pencil, just color with it for a little bit on somewhere so that the tip becomes dull, kind of like this, all right? Now, first things first, this foam has to be underneath your metal the entire time because your table is hard. And if you're trying to make the metal stick up and you put it on a super flat surface, there's nowhere for the metal to go. The foam underneath is soft and it's a little squishy. So when you push down into the metal, it's going to go into the foam and have a little place to raise up. Put it in front of you horizontal. Now you could draw on a separate sheet of paper first, but I honestly, I think it's fine just going for it. We're gonna draw an eye. Now you can lightly, very lightly, start to figure out where that eye is gonna go. So we're gonna do like a lemon shape. So we make a big arch here and a second one here. You want it kind of in the middle. And can you erase? Not really. So if you feel really nervous, what you can do is get a little piece of scrap paper and you can draw the eye first on here, give yourself some time to make mistakes and things like that. And when you're happy with it, you can trace it again on the metal through the paper and you'll get the same result. I'll leave that up to you. But for now, I'm going to draw directly in the metal, and I'm going to press down once I'm happy with it. And you'll feel right away the metal is really moving with your pencil. I'm going to make that line pretty deep. And if I flip it over, you'll see that I pushed the metal up here on this side. Now, once we have this, we're going to create the center of the eye, which is going to be kind of like a parentheses, two curved lines like this. Okay. Now we're gonna draw the scales. I'm gonna do this in the easiest way possible. If you wanna draw your scales a different way, you may, but I'm doing something nice and simple, which is basically, we're gonna make a big ring or a large circle around this eye. And I'm gonna do that twice. If it goes off the paper, no big deal. Okay, now that I have those rings, I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines. I'll get nice and close here. I'm going to draw some lines going out from the eye, kind of like the sun. You don't have to push super hard. So if you're like, ah, my hand hurts, like you don't have to push as hard as you are. You can be more gentle. So that's my first ring of scales. And then I'm going to draw lines again, but put them in the middle of these big blocks so they offset a little bit. See that? Put another one here in the middle of this one, middle of that one, middle of this one, middle of this one. And I'm gonna do that till I get to the edges. And don't worry if like the edges of your metal are a little curled up or messy, it's okay. It'll be just fine. All right, so already you can kind of feel there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of metal sticking up and a lot of metal sticking down, but we really wanna make this stick up. So once you've drawn this, I want you to flip it over. And if you run your finger over the surface here, you're going to feel all the metals sticking up this time. Now we're going to make everything stick up on the other side, which basically means we're going to color stuff in. So let's start with the pupil here of our eye. You're going to take your pencil, and I just want you to color it. So press down, and as you're pressing down, try to go all in the same direction. But you're going to push the metal up. There might be spots where it feels a little stuck where the metal is kind of making a big 
um, bump. Do your best to press that down. See, I'm like pushing it with my pencil tip. So I'm going to press down here. And when I flip it over, now that eye sticks up, I can actually like see it raised up like so. I'm going to do that inside all the scales as well. So I'm going to color outwards, kind of the same direction the lines are going. So see how all these lines are pointing up? I'm going to do that for this one too. These lines are pointing up this way. So I'm kind of following the pattern here. So if you think about a sun, you know, kind of like this, where all the rays go in different directions around a circle, you're doing the same thing here. Think of the eye as the center of the sun, and all the lines around it should go in a circle like this. And you can check your work. Flipping it over, you should feel everything raising up and looking super cool. We're going to do that all the way around. Uh, but that's going to take a while. So I'm going to pause and uh, restart the video after I'm done. OK, so that's done. And as you can see, this is the front. And all those lines are pointing up. And notice how I kept that pattern going. All the lines point in the same direction around the eye. That's what really makes it look awesome. And here's the back. All these parts go down. This is where I press my pencil. And it looks really awesome. Now, when it comes to coloring it, you must only use Sharpie markers. If you use an ordinary marker, such as this, you'll see immediately it doesn't really stay in the metal. And in fact, it will come right off and onto you. So if you have Sharpie markers, you can color these in. I wasn't able to send Sharpie markers home. You don't have to go out and buy them. Um, but they do make a really cool effect at the end. You can also use acrylic paint um, or don't color them in at all. But I just wanted you to experience what embossing is. And you have the ability to make these look even cooler. Go for it. This uh, foam, by the way, uh, we only use it for this project, really. So you don't have to keep this around. Um, but if you want to, you may. Uh, but I'd say the last thing you could possibly do with this project is maybe fold the corners of your metal down so they don't poke you. Can't wait to see what you did.